Welcome to the tutorial. My name is Kaylin Huntress, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to make a custom image newsletter header with Ace of Sales. I use Ace of Sales for writing a lot of newsletters, both for myself and for clients, because as a content marketer, it's really easy to just take content and images and populate a newsletter without worrying about code. And Ace of Sales lets you still get a great looking newsletter from that. So it's easy to make a header with the text provided and the brand color behind it, but we want to get something that looks a little more snazzy. So I'm going to add an image. I've got two images that I want to combine to make my newsletter header. I've got the logo for Costa Rica Jungle Retreats, which I can do by itself, and it'll have a background of the brand color, not really that appealing. So I'm going to remove this image, and I'm going to do a different one. Let's take a look at the background. I've got this really great shot of Costa Rica that's right near the retreat center. And this is the image that I want as the header with the logo on top of it. Now with just the way it is, it's obviously pretty plain. I can make some edits to it in Asa Sales. It actually uses a tool called Aviary and it does some really neat things. I can change some of the brightness and contrast settings. I can add filters. There's some good things you could do if you're into photography, but what I use this for mostly is with text because I can just add in text and say, this is the January issue and slide it around and, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm kind of focused on the logo. So in order to put the logo on top of this image, I have to use a third party tool called Pixlr. And Pixlr is a browser based tool that we call Photoshop for salespeople. It's really easy and intuitive. If you've used any image editing programs before, like Illustrator or Photoshop, you already know a bunch of the controls. But what's great about Pixlr is that it's browser-based, so you can use it on a Windows, on a Mac, there's no software to download, you don't even have to log in. You come to pixlr.com, you open the advanced Pixlr editor, and you're in. So to start, I'm gonna open an image from my computer. I'm gonna open the background, and I'll open another image for the logo. So the size of every image is shown in the corner. My logo is 400 by 200 pixels and this photo is 2208 by 1244. It's a big image. Looking at my Asa Sales image editor, it tells me the recommended size is 600 pixels wide by at least 160 pixels tall. So I'm gonna make a new image for my canvas. And this lets me set the width and the height. So I'm gonna do a 600 width and a 300 height. So now I've got my canvas. I'll put that right here. And I'm gonna take my image and for my background, I'm gonna transfer it to the, cop to the canvas using three steps. I'm gonna hit Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac to select all, Control C to copy it, and then I come over to the canvas and control V to paste. Now the canvas is much smaller than the image itself, so I have to resize the image. The easiest way to do that is with the free transform tool. I go up to edit and click free transform. And in order to keep the proportions, I'm gonna hold shift down while I click and resize. You can also use the free transform tool to make it really thin or really tall by using the sides, but I don't want that. I want a proportional image, so I'm gonna shift, click, and resize it. Another advantage to using free transform is this is a good way to crop your image. The canvas shows what the ultimate image is going to look like, and I can move around and see how I want it to be cropped. And this basically becomes a cropping window. Here we go. I think this looks good. So once I have it all set, I'm gonna hit enter, so it saves it. And now I've got my background image and the canvas size of the correct uh, pixel ratio. So now I've got my logo. I select all, I copy it, I come over here and I paste it. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn off the crop. No, don't wanna apply those changes. And I'm gonna use the select tool. And this is the tool in the corner that you're gonna use to move things around. And you can also see that this image is layer two. If I wanna select a layer behind it, this layer panel back here, I select layer one, and then I can move that layer, okay? And so once I have all my layers the way that I want them, 
move layer two to move the logo up just a little, and I think this looks good. So I'm gonna save this image to my desktop. I'm gonna save it as newsletter header. And now it's ready in the folder for me to upload into Asa Sales. Going back into my Asa Sales window, I click up, I can upload this image for newsletter header. And now my background has my logo on it. But look, I left some white here on the sides. That doesn't look too good. So I'm gonna come over here and do a second one. I'll select layer one, and I'll actually free transform it just a little bit to make it bigger than the canvas. There we go. And now I'll save it again as newsletter header two. And I'll repeat the process over here. I'm gonna I can remove this image and go back to the newsletter or just upload another image. Newsletter header two. And so now I've got a really nice header for my newsletter. I'm gonna finish writing the content, throw in a few photos down below and make some impact with the people on my newsletter list. So I hope you do the same with Pixlr and Ace of Sales. If you make a custom newsletter header, I'd love to see it. My email's below, kaylin at aceofsales.com. Feel free to add me to your list because I'd love to see what you're working on.